Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we join Jesus' offering of himself to the Father, let us pray for our persecuted Christian brothers and sisters as we commemorate today Red Wednesday. Let us also pray for their oppressors and for those who foster persecution and for those who ignore it. Let us implore the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved and place our lives in the mercy of God. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your inscrutable providence will that the church be united to the sufferings of your Son, grant we pray to your faithful who suffer for your namesake a spirit of patience and charity that they may be found true and faithful witnesses to the promises you have made. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Belshazzar gave a great banquet for a thousand of his lords with whom he drank. Under the influence of the wine, he ordered the gold and silver vessels which Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem to be brought in so that the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers might drink from them. When the gold and silver vessels taken from the house of God in Jerusalem had been brought in, and while the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers were drinking wine from them, they praised their gods of gold and silver, bronze and iron, wood and stone. Suddenly, opposite the lampstand, the fingers of a human hand appeared, writing on the plaster of the wall in the king's palace. When the king saw the wrist and hand that wrote, his face blanched, his thoughts terrified him, his hip joints shook, and his knees knocked. Then Daniel was brought into the presence of the king. The king asked him, Are you the Daniel, the Jewish exile, whom my father, the king, brought from Judah? I have heard that the Spirit of God is in you, that you possess brilliant knowledge and extraordinary wisdom. I have heard that you can interpret dreams and solve difficulties. If you are able to read the writing and tell me what it means, you shall be clothed in purple, wear a gold collar about your neck, and be third in the government of the kingdom. Daniel answered the king, you may keep your gifts, or give your presence to someone else. But the writing I will read for you, O king, and tell you what it means. You have rebelled against the Lord of heaven. You had the vessels of his temple brought before you so that you and your nobles, your wives and your entertainers might drink wine from them. And you praise the gods of silver and gold, bronze and iron, wood and stone, that neither see nor hear nor have intelligence. But the God in whose hand is your life breath and the whole course of your life, you did not glorify. By him were the wrist and hand sent and the writing sat down. This is the writing that was inscribed, Mene, Tekel, and Peres. These words mean, Mene, God has numbered your kingdom and put an end to it. Tekel, you have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. Paris, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and Persians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Sun and moon bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. 
Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Every shower and dew bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you winds bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Fire and heat bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Cold and chill bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead you to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today is what we call Red Wednesday. Red meaning the color of martyrdom, the color of blood shed by Christians all around the world because they stood on their Christian beliefs, on their Christian principles. Ang araw po na ito, kung mapapansin po ninyo, ay kulay pula sapagkat ito ay simbolo ng mga dugo ng mga Kristiyano na nag-alay ng buhay sapagkat nais nilang tumindig sa prinsipyo sa paniniwala nating mga Kristiyano. My dear brothers and sisters, in our readings today, we can see what is the gift of God in the midst of persecutions, of distress and suffering because of believing in Jesus. Ano kaya ang biyaya ng Diyos 
kapag dumarating sa buhay natin na inuusig tayo dahil sa paniniwala nating mga Kristiyano. In our readings today, we will see that the gift of God in times of persecution is wisdom. Karunungan. And that is what differentiates us, followers of Jesus, from our persecutors. Wisdom. Kaya po kung mapapansin ninyo, kapag ikaw ay pinapersecute, kapag ikaw ay inuusig dahil sa paniniwala mo kay Jesus, dahil pinaninindigan mo ang tama ayon kay Jesus, nako, aasarin ka ng mga tao. They will call you names. They will tease you. They will laugh at you. But Jesus said in our gospel today, I will give you wisdom. And that wisdom, they cannot resist. They cannot refute. Sabi ni Jesus, kapag ikaw ay inaasar ng mga tao, inuusig ka ng mga tao, pinagtatawanan ka ng mga tao, kasi tumitindig ka sa tama ang prinsipyo ng Kristyanismo, pagtawanan ka man nila, ay bibigyan kita ng karunungan sapagkat ang karunungan ay kailanman hindi nila matatalo sapagkat yan ang tama. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sinasabi sa atin ni Jesus ngayong araw, usigin ka man ng mga tao, kapag ikaw ay nakatindig sa tama, kahit kailan, hindi nila magagapi ang karunungan ng pagiging tama. That is why they resort to name calling. That is why persecutors resort to hurting you because they do not have wisdom and righteousness. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gift of God in the midst of persecution. Wisdom. And we will see this in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Daniel. Their experience of being persecuted by the Chaldeans, their conquerors. Imagine in the banquet by King Belshazzar, he called his servants to use the silver and gold of the temple in Jerusalem to be used in their banquet. That is very much hurtful to the people of Israel. Isipin na lang po ninyo, mga kapatid, halimbawa, yung mga ginagamit natin sa misa na kalis at siborium, parang gagamitin sa kanilang paglalasing gusto ng hari saktan ang mga taga-Israel yung ginagamit nila sa pagsamba ay ginamit sa paglalasing the conqueror the persecutor wanted to hurt Daniel and the Israelites pero sinaktan din ba ni Daniel at ng mga taga-Israel ang kanilang mga persecutors? Hindi. Because God gave them wisdom. And wisdom is standing on principles. Wisdom is standing on the truth. Wisdom is standing on decency and righteousness. Mga binamahal na kapatid, kung dumating man po sa buhay natin, na tayo ay uusigin dahil tayo ay pinaglalaban natin ng tama, kumingi tayo sa Diyos ng kanyang biyaya. 
ang biyaya ng karunungan. And they cannot refute wisdom. They cannot resist wisdom. They will hate you. They will call you names. They will persecute you. But they cannot refute you because wisdom comes from God. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration, let us remember that what differentiates the followers of Christ from their persecutors is always wisdom. Amen. Please stand. Loving God, we come before you as a church born from the cross of Christ, a church that has grown through 2,000 years from the glorious blood of martyrs. For every petition, let us say, Deliver your people, Lord. Deliver your people, Lord. From discrimination against believers, and against the whole community of the church. Deliver your, your people, people, Lord. From the isolation of prison camps and the loneliness of exile due to our faith in Christ. Deliver, Deliver your, your people, people, Lord. From the anguish of meeting in hiding places for worship because Christianity is not authorized. Deliver, Deliver your, your people, people, Lord. From injustice, war, terrorism, kidnapping, torture, and murder, and all human suffering because of Christian faith. Deliver your people, Lord. From infection of the coronavirus, especially from the frontliners risking their lives to protect everyone. Deliver, Deliver your, your people, people, Lord. Let us now say together after every invocation, In you, Lord, we place our hope. In you, Lord, we place our hope. For bishops, priests, prohibited from exercising ministry in church or in public gatherings. In you, Lord, we place our hope. For religious and missionaries dispersed, unable to live their life of consecration. In you, in you, Lord, Lord we, we place our hope. For generous young men and women prevented from realizing their religious or priestly formation. In you, in you Lord, Lord, we place our hope. For parents denied from giving their children education in the faith. In you, in you Lord, Lord, we place our hope. For manual workers, intellectuals, and professionals who run the risk of being deprived of opportunities because they profess faith in God. In you, in you Lord, Lord, we place our hope. For those infected with the coronavirus, that they may be restored to health soon. In you, in you Lord, Lord, we place our hope. For the victims of the pandemic brought about by the coronavirus, that God may give them eternal rest in his kingdom. In you, Lord, we place our hope. Loving God, we have seen life and death face each other in a wondrous duel in the life of Jesus, your Son, our hope of glory. Ease our fears. Console us in our pain. May the sufferings of your church be the life-giving sap, the balm of healing, that our world needs. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Receive, we ask, O Lord, the prayers and sacrificial gifts we offer in humility and grant that those who suffer persecution for their faithful service to you may rejoice to be united to the sacrifice of Christ your Son and may know that their names are written in heaven among the company of the elect through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved Son Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things. Whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, O Lord, confirm your servants in the truth and grant to your faithful who suffer tribulation that as they follow your Son in bearing their cross, they may in every trial Give glory in the name of Christian, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank the Aid to the Church in Need for organizing yearly the celebration of Red Wednesday. And we thank them for continuously supporting Christians around the world who are suffering persecution because of their faith. Dito po sa ating bayan, ang Aid to the Church in Need ay uh, malaki ang naitutulong, especially sa Marawi, when the Cathedral of Marawi was bombed. And uh, we thank them for helping us, especially our brothers and sisters 
who are suffering not only in our country but all around the world. If you want to uh, share about this event, you may uh, contact or look at the social media pages of the Aid to the Church in Need. Also, we would like to invite everyone tonight at 9 p.m. Our Healing Rosary for the World will be prayed from the St. Vincent de Paul Parish dito lamang po sa May San Marcelino. And we will be praying the Healing Rosary in front of the image of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal whose feast day we anticipate this coming Saturday. Also, the image of the uh, Miraculous Medal, Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, will be visiting the Manila Cathedral this coming weekend, starting this Friday. Uh, Friday evening, we will be celebrating evening prayer or Vespers together with the Vincentian community, with the Vincentian religious community. Saturday at 7.30 a.m., we will be celebrating the Feast Day Mass of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. And all throughout Sunday, the image will still be remaining here at the cathedral. So tonight, we invite you to pray with us the Healing Rosary for the World. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, uh -huh.